Sean Ashley and welcome to the View Masters of the Universe. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do a bit of a jump through time and that's because one of my students, uh, I'm a primary school teacher here in New Zealand uh, and one of my students he became really enthusiastic about View Masters and came across one at one of our local markets and decided to buy one for himself uh, and it's one that I don't have so I asked him can I borrow it for the show and he said sure. Um, which is really kind of him. So this is a bit of a shout out to Hugo. Thank you, mate. Um, Hugo is really, really lucky. Now he has got a Model N. Now I am familiar with Model N. I remember seeing the advertising um, as a child, uh, seeing friends and relatives that own them. Um, the Model N uh, stands for the nighttime viewer, uh, hence all of the detail there on it. Um, and this was originally produced by Tyco um, and it was a bit of a coup for Tyco because um, especially the research and development because this is the first lighted viewer to have um, transparent diffusers in it and so what that means is um, and we're going to be looking at some of these later on but um, the Model F and the Model I want to say G no not G sorry H course H the model F and the model H they were um, the first in a line of inbuilt um, lighted viewers um, and they also came with transformer plugs and all that kind of stuff but they didn't have an open window at the back so if you didn't have batteries or the light didn't work for some reason you you basically couldn't use up the view master without having to remove the back cover um, there have been other lighted viewers in the past, but when I say lighted viewers, they're actually attachments. So you could buy um, an attachment from um, Sawyer's to clip onto your Model C, or you could also buy an attachment that clipped onto the Model E. And there are problems with both of those being attachments that it affected the weight and balance of the Viewmaster and made it very, very front heavy. Um, I've heard a lot, uh, particularly of a lot of problems relative to the Model C because of the chunky, um, funny design and shape of the, um, the attachment. And they did improve that in the Model E version, but it was, a, it was like that long out from the Viewmaster and obviously that makes it front heavy and it, it get, it'll get tiring after a while looking at your viewer. Now, this is a light source all built in one. Um, on a lot of the, and this is where the, the, the clever design comes in. On a Model F and a Model G, the light source is right here and it, it shines against the back covering of the Viewmaster and then there's a like a um, reflector disc that reflects the light back into the viewer and past the reel. So when you're looking at it, you can it lights up. Now, in order for Tyco to, to have this diffuser in there so you could view it in daytime and nighttime, what they've done is they've mounted the light underneath. Uh, and these diffusers are designed in such a way that they, at nighttime, they help reflect, reflect the light. But also for a child, it um, has the sense of wonder because it essentially turns your Viewmaster into a nightlight because when it's turned on, these stars illuminate. Now, sadly, my friend here, Hugo's, his one is out of action at the moment, and that's because the bulb is broken. Um, and it's just a little um, piece of wire in between. Um, and that's a, when, to me, that's a really, really, really clever design. Um, so your battery pack there, easy, easy swap of the batteries. Um, what I've found with my Model H, I love my Model H to pieces. I use it almost every single day with my son um, at bedtime. The only downside is, is that it's got the janky backing cap. Um, and we'll talk about a little bit more about Model H another time and go into that in a little bit more detail. But this is like a really, really clever action, this um, lever action here. Um, and really, really clever to have the diffuser in it. Like, um, yeah, it, I think it's just a really clever design. Um, and then you've got the um, 
depression lever uh, button here for the illumination, which is a clever ergonomic design too. Most of the, like uh, model F and H have a top bar, so you have to have one hand on the viewer uh, on the lenses and one hand on top like that, which in reality isn't that bad a design, but normally when you hold a Viewmaster, your, your initial action is to grab it by the eyepieces, so it just makes sense to have the button there. So that's really, really clever. Um, one of the other things that sets um, Model N apart is that um, it's like bright orange, um, and I ha you don't really see too many like like bright orange ones. I mean, the Model L came in like an orangey color, but this is bright orange, <laughs> bright orange and bright yellow. Um, it's for something that's a lighted viewer. It it feels like the viewers of old in terms of the weight and it and also the plastic it, it, it's got like I don't I'm not sure why it has a Bakelite feel about it I know it's not Bakelite it's some kind of other thermoplastic um, but it's um, it's got a nice weight to it and I, that's obviously part of the to do with the battery pack and the electronics that are inside and you can feel that it's bottom heavy because that's where most of those components are but it's got a nice sturdy weight to it um, it's very clever too, like uh, the Model H, it's got a flat bottom so it can sit steady on a surface like that. Um, yeah, so it, it's a really, really charming and if I ever got the chance I would definitely add one of these to my collection. Um, we're still, I'm helping them out at the moment, we're still kind of in the process of trying to find out where to get a bulb from because it's a funny shaped bulb um, and I've found similar issues with um, other bulbs in other, I suppose you'd call them antique and classic devices because the bulbs have been phased out and all that kind of stuff. So um, I don't think that's the case with this one. This, this Viewmaster was in production from 1992 to 1998 and was manufactured mostly in China for Tyco. So thanks for watching. Thanks again, Hugo, for the loan on the Model N. Um, if there's anything you want to know about a viewer, please let me know in the comments line below. Um, thank you to um, the Viewmaster Collectors Group out on Facebook. Um, if you're a collector and you don't know what to do or where to go or who to talk to about information, definitely go and join the Facebook page. Uh, wealth of information and very kind and supportive people that are willing to share their ideas and show their collections. So I highly recommend having a look at their Facebook page if you haven't done so already. For now, I'll see you later. Until next time, join me, Mr. Ashley, Sean Ashley, on the Viewmasters of the Universe.